Hello, welcome. Today we're playing Aliens Dark Descent. It's an alien strategy game. It's kind of like XCOM. Uh, with persistent death from characters and all that stuff. A little different. It's not turn-based. It's all RTS, real-time. We're going to play on Nightmare Difficulty. And get right into it. Please be mindful of docking bay protocol at all times. Wayland Utah, building better worlds. Who in their right mind purposely releases a xenomorph? I, really man, like, you're asking to die, it's ridiculous. <laughs> Aliens, dark descent. Very cool, if not a bit of a slow intro cutscene. That's all right, setting it up. Let's see what's going on. Clearly there is some uh, tomfoolery happening that dude purposely releasing a, a xenomorph onto a space station. That's not going to go well, that's for sure. Any news from Lisey Hayes? Sorry, sir. We're having a hard time reaching anyone. That storm probably... Yeah, storm. Damn. Must be one hell of a hurricane to cut us from the whole planet. Mm -hmm. Chief Administrator, I'm showing a weight discrepancy on the Bentonville's manifest. They just asked for a takeoff accreditation, but half the shipment is still at dock. Half, you say? Well, we just earned a bonus. I'll allow them to take off right away. 
<laughs> protocol dictates. How many times? Company protocol doesn't mean anything out here. What works, works. And we're already behind schedule. Director Price? Isn't here. And if I do recall correctly, Deputy Administrator Hayes, your shift ended Just half an hour pissed. ago. So get the hell off my command deck and let me do my job. Of lining my pockets with that extra cash. Way you scumbag. I don't care what McDonald says. Something is wrong here. I can monitor the cargo bay camera security feed just as well from my office. All right, let's do it. Move, move the camera with WASD. We rotate the camera by clicking middle mouse and drag or QE. Zoom by scrolling. Cool. We during a mission, you'll have to complete several objectives in order to advance the story. Later, secondary objectives can be completed to recover hidden resources and additional information about the location. These objectives are indicated at the top left of your screen. They are indicated with an objective icon in the game view. Follow the objective indicator. Understood. All right, so we're going there. Yeah, right click to move. Doors with green lights will open automatically when the character approaches them. Understood. We're going over here. Just take on a leisurely stroll. You look troubled, Administrator. Duh, he's creepy. Is there anything I can Synthetics do? Synthetics have always been creepy. I don't Thank like you, Daniel. But no. I'm just having one of those days, you know? Another argument with Administrator McDonald. How did he you sucks. guess? I may be synthetic, but I'm not blind. Are you sure I can't make up those creepy eyes? No. Staring into my it's soul. my problem. And I'll take care of it. I just need to reach my office. Of course. But I'm afraid this corridor is closed due to maintenance. You'll need to detour through the cafeteria. Okie doke. Grab some chow. Mm -hmm. I heard no one's picking up on the planet. Not even Jackson's Going landing. through the really? cafeteria. Hey everybody, how's it hanging? Don't often see you in here, Administrator Hayes. Are you lost? Do you need me to show you to your room? Last I checked, you couldn't find your own ass with both hands. I'll pass. <laughs> okay, so she clearly doesn't like him. <laughs> like, get up off me, boy. I don't need you to show me nowhere. Okay. Supply shuttle Bentonville. Secure for, for launch. launch. All crews, this is your two-minute warning. Shit, need to hurry. You can make your character run using double click to run towards your office. Okie dokie. Run. Run for it. Probably gonna be doing a lot of running, I imagine. You can select an interactive element with left click. Select the highlighted console to use it. Use your computer. Welcome, Administrator Hayes. Hello, computer. Oh, jeez. This is what happens when you release a xenomorph. Anyway, it is always a bad idea. Always. The screams and the gunshots going off. Like, yeah. Run for your lives. You need to get to the cargo bay. Reach the elevator that leads there. Okay. Where's the elevator? Way over here. Okay, so I gotta go through the cafeteria, or do I just... Let's go this way, why not? Reveal the darkness! Go, go, go! I don't care about exploring. Not right now, anyway. I doubt there'll be anything in the first, like, tutorial part of the game. Okay, security. We have reached security. Where's Chief Durant? Settling the labor dispute on the rally. Aha! Then you'll have to do. Gather a security team and come with me. <laughs> not a chance. McDonald's Coward. Told us you'd be stirring up trouble again. I ain't getting involved. I'll take it up with him. Thanks for nothing. So clearly, uh, Miss Mako Hayes here is a bit of a troublemaker. And people don't want to help out. Like, fine, then you're probably going to die. Like, you want to help out? There's aliens killing people, bro. Like, it's us against them. Come on now. Find your way to the cargo bay. Something's amiss. What is the quickest way there? I don't know. Uh, miss. Open the auto map with M. 
Mako's location is displayed along with her detection range and the camera angle. Understood. On the left of the map screen, all of the mission's active objectives are wow, active objectives are displayed. The current objective can be selected by pressing left click on it in the objectives list or by directly selecting an objective on the map. Wow, reading hard. Okay, so you can click there or click there. Good stuff. On the top right of the map screen, all the floors that make up a location are displayed. The floor that you wish to display can be selected by pressing left click on the floor icon. Cool. Select the back button to close the map interface. Cool. Probably. Okay. So it looked like we gotta go over here. Supply shuttle Bentonville is cleared for launch. Don't clear that Remember, shuttle for launch. All unauthorized breaks taken by non-officer grades will automatically be deducted from leave allowance. That's cold hearted. So if you're an officer, you can take a break whenever the heck you want. But if you're just a low level grunt, screw you. You gotta pay if you want to rest. Oh. Oh, jeez. He dragged himself out of there. Wow. You're going to be all right. Cargo. Thanks. Sorry. Came out of Need a bit of a drink. It's a bit me. hot Stay. in here. God damn it. Something's definitely happening in the cargo bay. Hurry! Yeah, something's definitely happening. This dude dragged himself out of there. He very dead. Take the gun. Better safe than sorry. What gun? You can hold left click in the environment to order your character to light up the corresponding direction. This action will help you to highlight interactive elements. Better take his pistol. Yep, take the pistol. Search for weapon. For shit. Although I have a feeling that a pistol against a xenomorph is probably going to be less than helpful. Seems like it came That's from the platform. Get a closer look. There's the Bentonville. Don't let it take off. Xenomorphs. You don't know that, but I know that because they showed us. Cutscene. Ew. It's all wet and gross. Xenomorph it's all goo. This. What is it then? It's not Charmanite. What is it? It's slow pan. Oh! Face hugger eggs. Fun! Not fun. No fun at all. We need to get out of here. Shit. Something's coming. Lock the door! Okay, um, let's go. Let's get out of here. I can't leave the thing run loose. I need to lock this damn door. There's a welder back there. Okay. But your fancy space doors don't have an auto lock on them or something? Whatever that thing is, can't chew its way through a door. It's a xenomorph. It could probably chew its way through if it wanted to. Leave the cargo bay fast! Run, Mako, run! You can interact with doors. Press left click on a door to open its interaction options. Weld landing zone airlock. Welding a door prevents enemies from passing through until they have breached it. Welding a door consumes one tool. Select it, blah blah blah, do the thing. Yep, cool. Doing the thing. Weld that door closed. Oh, there he is. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I need marines and a new pair of pants. Stat. I thought what I told you. What the hell was aboard the Bentonville? What are you talking about? The dock crew and cargo bay four are dead. Dead? That's not funny. Hey, Something Joe. got loose and killed. <laughs> Failure. Engaging emergency generators. What just happened? Nothing good, that's for sure. Oh, I hate those things. They're so creepy. 
Ah, that would suck. Just put a bullet in me at that point. Like, no thank you. <laughs> yeah, I should have taken it seriously, eh? Ah, uh, why do they have fingernails? Oh, no! No, I don't like it. No thank you. Gross. Oh, God, God. No, 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 no. Go away. Shit. Shit. Security. I need to get to security. Yeah, yeah. Maybe they have guns. You can't face this alone. Go get some help. I agree. Let's go get some help. No, 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 no. Run. Run. There's aliens that are grabbing you. Oh. Oh. Jeez. Okay. You won't find help aboard Pioneer. Clearly not. What the hell is happening? Everyone's dying in there. Yep. The Bentonville. I can't let that happen. What are you going to do about it? Everyone's Hello? dying. The Colonial Marines. Get your ass over here, Marines. Yes, this is Administrator Hayes. There's some kind of infestation aboard. Otago, you have to intercept the Benhamville before it leaves the system. Can you hear me, Otago? Please copy. Is everything all right? Please copy. Damn it! Comms are down. I can't fix them from here. I need to get to the comms room. Okay, to the comms room. Where are we going? Somewhere over there. Okay, so this way, I guess. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go quick. No time to no time to waste. Lewis, are you in there? I need access to the comms room. Lewis is dead, me, right? Go away. Oh, okay. Come He's not. Right to us. Open the damn door. No way. It's staying locked to keep those things out. Fair enough. Do you think that'll help? They're in the vents. Vents? <laughs> <laughs> oh, good God. Oh, the squishy sounds. Lewis! Lewis! Bye, Lewis. Sucks to be you, bro. Ah. Alert. Station integrity compromised. Damn it. Okay, this way. Use my flashlight. Let's go. No, stop. It's out there. Manning sucks. We established that earlier. Stay here. No, no, I can't see me. Go away. Go away. Okay. Just keep your head down. Right. Fine. Stay here and die. You suck. Let's go. Gotta get around here and get back up here. Let's go. Quick. Run, Hayes. Run. Oh, I always hit the wrong button. <laughs> Let's go, let's go, let's go. Keep moving. Uh, that's not good. Daniel, you all right? Deputy Administrator, it appears that these creatures have destroyed our communication system. It does appear that way. Why would they do that? They're, they're animals. Sorry, I have no idea. I wish I could help you further. I wish you could too. The Bentonville. I need to stop that ship. What to do, Daniel, what to do. our planetary quarantine protocols, they're still operational, aren't they? I do believe so, Deputy Administrator. What do I do? Those things have to come from the planet. If even one gets off world. Ugh. No, there's no choice. I could stop them. Deputy Administrator, you're only following the Wayland Yutani containment procedures. The Cerberus protocol was specifically designed for a situation like this. What you're doing is only right. Right. Yes. Uh, I doubt a corporate protocol is designed to help the people or help anything other than the corporation. Especially like, it's, it's Whale and Yutani. They're not good guys. We know this. If you've seen any of the alien movies, you know this. Run, Hayes, run! 
We can't let the Bentonville get away. I mean, it's definitely not a good thing to allow that ship to go to other places. Can't let the Xenomorph spread, that's for sure. Where's a predator when you need one, you know? Oh, click the thing. Right, der. Obviously click the thing. Warning. Three ships detected. USS Otago, Bentonville, Baldwin. Will be caught in the high orbit interdiction radius. Please confirm command. I am so sorry. Cerberus protocol activated. Sacrifices Purge must be made. Contaminant vectors. Stand by. Stand by. Missiles. Space missiles. Let's go. dare you show me the consequences <laughs> oh my oh my it had to be done your conscience is going to be fucking your, your conscience is going to be absolutely destroyed uh, karma that's not Run. Come on, run. Door's open. Get out of there. Pissed it off. Didn't hurt it at all. My, my, oh my. It's coming back! Hide! When your squad encounters an enemy while undetected, the enemy will not detect your squad immediately. The detection delay is re represented by a yellow line that goes from the enemy to one of your squad members. This line will gradually fill up with red, and when it is completely full, the squad will be detected. Understood. Uh, you can avoid being spotted by hiding behind cover. Cover spots are indicated with a small green square on the floor near your cursor. Double click to run to the designated area. Okay, run. When behind cover, you can hide to avoid being detected. Crouch behind cover using control. Ah, help me. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Okay, so it's obviously we gotta be stealthy here. There's no way we're gonna take that thing in a frontal, frontal assault, frontal fight, whatever you wanna call it. We're not taking that thing in a, in a fight. It's not gonna happen. So let's, oh, 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 get back in cover. Maybe we follow it? I'm gonna follow it. Run. Get in cover. Oh, oh, that wasn't good. Okay, be more careful. Getting lucky here. So it's got a detection range, obviously. If we're too far away from it, it can't see us. And maybe if we block it with the environment, it can't see us either. Okay, doesn't have eyes on us. Let's go. Get out of here. Run. Oh, that's great. Oh, no. Go. 
Go away. Ugly thing. Yes, Marines. Help me. Save me. Come on. We'll cover you. Sergeant Harper, USCM. You? Hey, he's a De deputy administrator. You're from the Otago? Yeah. What the hell was that thing? It was... Everyone's dead. It was on one of the cargo shuttles. All right, people. We're falling back to the dropship. Hunsley, we're rolling to you. Copy. Let's roll out. Yeah, we got some Marines. From now on, the Marine squad will be controlled as a single entity. When you order the squad to perform a task, a Marine from the squad will be automatically assigned to carry it out. Cool. We got J. Harper, A. Latimer, and E. Ruiz. Ruiz, Ruiz, I don't know. I'm sorry. Okay, where are we headed? Uh, up here. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's run. Let's run. Let's get the heck out of here. What the fuck is a Cerberus protocol? No clue. Just keep it moving and watch those corners. That's what blew up everything, man. Nothing in, nothing out. Sounds like a real party. Yeah, it's the best party. You want to come? You're, you're invited. Okay, let's keep moving. Run, run, run. Definitely got to get out of here. All right, going through here, I guess. There we go. Keep moving, guys. Let's go. Why is she in the front? You okay, Sarge? Eyes ahead. Something's coming. I mean, something's coming. Harper. Oh. Got movement. Look at that classic alien tracker. The motion tracker indicates any moving entities within a 60 meter radius with a white dot. Boop, boop, boop. All right. So that might be an alien, I guess. Should we go slow? Let's get up there and we'll enter the room slowly. Okay. Right. Oh, it's Manning. Where are you going? It's not safe here. It's not. Damn straight. Now clearly. Get you out. No, you don't understand. It's here. It's here. <laughs> Light it up. Oh, jeez. Marines are trained to automatically open fire on enemies when detected. Marines will open fire even when walking. When running, Marines can't use any of their weapons. Understood. So in combat, walk. Eyes up! That thing's still out there. Good to know. Ugh. Sorry, Manning. Told you to come with me, though. Let's walk. We don't know if they're here or not. Take it slow. Ah, Take face huggers! Use a grenade! Oh, grenade. Your Marines have access to the skills that will help you deal with various threats. You can open the skill menu by pressing spacebar. Select U1 grenade launcher in the skill menu. Cool. U1 grenade launcher deals massive damage in an area. Using it consumes one command point. Okay. Aim at the point. There we go. No more face huggers. Command points are a resource that can be spent in order to use skills. Command points are refilled over time until the maximum capacity is reached. You will be able to raise this maximum later by upgrading your marines. Cool. So, command points. What's it? Ammo clips and tools. All right, let's move. I got no motion. We let's need run. That elevator. Punch it. Call the elevator. Track lighting up. All right, set for suppressing fire and check your targets. All right, let's get ready. Open the skill menu. Select suppressive fire in the skill menu. We can cover the selected area within this area. Enemies move at 70% of their initial speed. The Marines' firing rate is doubled, but as a counterpart, their accuracy is reduced by 20 points. It needs to be manually canceled to end. Okay, and they can't run while doing it. Enemies that enter an area affected by suppressive fire will suffer a huge speed penalty. The firing rate of the Marine who is shooting is drastically increased, but they suffer an accuracy penalty and cannot run. This action consumes one command point. Getting close. There we go. Close Suppressive there. fire. Wait for my order. Steady. Steady. Oh, it's the android. Synth, whatever. 
Hi, Daniel. What's up, Daniel. bro? Daniel, is that you? Administrator Hayes, where are you going? We're getting to safety, Daniel. Please, come with us. I'm afraid I can't permit that. Cerberus protocols are in effect. I know, but we can't stay. It's not safe. The protocols are clear. Nothing in, nothing out. I'm sorry, Administrator Hayes. Oh, great. Stand down. Come on, get him. Get him. What the hell was that? I, I don't know. I've never even heard Daniel raise his voice. Since, man. Creepy little fuckers. Let's cancel that. Move into the elevator. Get everyone in here. Docking bay. Let's go. Ooh -ah. All right. Leave pioneers through the station's lower levels. Let's go. Hey, what a mess. Yeah, everyone's dead. Jeez. Fuck! Incoming! Xenomorph! Oh, damn. Hold still. I'm. Oh no. What? It's blood is some kind of acid. Fuck! What kind of blood type is that? Keep your distance, Marines. <laughs> Vladimir, you fit to move. I'm not dying here. All right, let's get off this damn station. Oh, excuse me. When a xenomorph dies, there is a chance that it might explode into an acid burst, causing one damage to any nearby Marines. Your Marines can walk and shoot at the same time, so keep moving in the opposite direction of the xenomorphs that are coming at you. Yeah, that seems like it makes sense. Oh, she's hurt and light wound leg. Marine can't run. We need Moving a lot of speed is reduced. I'll break open the med kit. Yeah, heal her up. Each Marine has their own health bar. This health bar is composed of the following. Life, armor. When a Marine's health drops to zero, they will end up either in critical condition or dead. Yeah, that sounds... A light wound will be applied to any Marine whose health drops to two points. In this case, your Marine has a wounded leg, which applies a movement speed penalty. Light, wounds, light wound effects are described in the codex. Cool. Select your wounded marine to open the interaction menu for them. You can heal a wounded marine using the first aid interaction option. Da da da. da. Can you? Yeah, got it. Heal. Ah, Ruiz, you're making it worse. Hey, shh, don't be such a baby. There you go. He ain't pretty, but that ship sailed long ago. Gee, <laughs> thanks. Alright, no motion. Let's go. Uh oh. Let me move. They're too close. Switch the sidearms. The Marines have access to skills that will help them deal with various threats. Open the skill menu. Select shotgun blast. Oh, good stuff. They're too close. Switch the sidearms. Get down. For close encounters. <laughs> too right, mate. Maybe running all the time is not a great idea, but I'm going to do it. I don't see anything on the motion trackers. We're just going to run. Make a run for it. There we go. Oh, don't split up. <clears throat> Hell of a time for a migraine. Seriously, Sarge? What's up with you? Move what is now. up with you? We're in danger. I mean, yeah, we're in danger. We're on a ship, on a station, whatever, full of xenomorphs. It's not a good time. Ah! Sergeant Harper, pull it together. We have to leave. Yeah, yeah, I heard you. Corporal Hunslet, get your ass down here. Hot evac. All right, all right. Air Hunslet inbound. Have your boarding passes ready. Factory's coming. Get, re get ready. It's now time for you to use everything you've learned in order to survive. Order a Marine to lay suppressive fire. Uh, probably, I imagine Shit. this way. Reading multiple contacts. Closing fast. Oh, yeah, here they come. Too many. We have to go. Oh, back up, sir. Get that shot. Oh, it slows down. That's awesome. Yeah. Get wrecked. What happens if I click on it? Oh, it's like Mark. Oh, back up. Back up. Get away from us. Here comes more. Let's ready a grenade. When you open the skill menu, you either activate slow mo or pause. So give you time to use skills. You can switch between slow mo and pause at any time in the gameplay menu. Cool. 
on slow-mo. Ah, let's just let it go. Here they come. Grenade out. Oh, back away, back away, back away. Holy. They're coming in hot. Yeah, run. Nice. And we're out. Yeah. All right, we survived. Get up out of there. Would you look at that? What am I Hell, she's taking a pounding. Oh. Otago, this that's is our, Harper. That's, Do you that's, copy? that's my bad. Sorry. Hansel, can you get us aboard? No way, Sarge. Between the debris and the decaying orbit, death trap. Death trap. Yeah, it's, it's getting hit with missiles. It. At least those platforms are leaving us alone. They're designed for planetary quarantine. But Lethe has to remain operational. Low orbit is considered safe, but beyond that, it's, it's a dead zone. Cerberus will shut down everything attempting to go through in both directions. Cerberus, huh? You seem to know a lot about it. I know everything about it. I'm Pioneer Station. That's my job. Yeah, yeah you know why I decided to turn the Otago into scrap metal? I... I don't know. Systems failure, maybe? You saw the state of the station. Shit, there she goes. Fuck, follow her down, Hunslet. No problem. Fireball like that's hard to miss. Yeah, that's true. I'm not missing that thing on the way down. I wouldn't call it a fireball. Like, it's taking some serious damage. But, like, the whole thing is engulfed. She still seems relatively intact. Maybe some critical system damage. Oh, well, there you go. That's a fireball. Parts flying off of it. Okay, I was wrong. Good to know. It did better than the other ship, though. That's for sure. back onto the ship. Relatively safe. At least there's no aliens on this ship. Welcome home, Harper. You like what I've done with the place? Martinez. It's good to see you, Sarge. Sergeant Martinez, is it... Is your communication system working? It's online, but... We're only picking up static. These colonies sure have a really problem. But who's asking? Meet Deputy Administrator Hayes from Pioneer. Hello. Where's Captain Cochran? There's shit going down on that station like you wouldn't believe. Gone. The whole command staff's gone. Oh, damn. You're it. Me. My bad. Uh, you made sergeant before I did. You've got seniority. Yeah, sure, but these are the captain's orders, as in the deathbed kind. This shit's all yours, he insisted. If you want me, I'll be in the armory. <laughs> See if we'll survive the crash. Yeah, do that. I have a feeling we're going to need it. Ace, you better come with me. All right. Ah, damn. What do we do now? We don't know what is happening on the surface of this planet. McDonald's, my boss, he sure didn't. No, we don't we know. To well, we're gonna find out. We hope to get out of this mess. I hate to rain on your parade, but the Otago shit out. Even if it wasn't, yeah. How do we get out past those Cerberus platforms? We don't. Stop a ship, but not a signal. If we create our own relay, perhaps we could broadcast from low orbit, just in case the ship passes by. Do you want to create a sort of satellite? We're not a pirate radio station, Deputy Administrator. Or we could contact Pharaoh Spire. Director Price you needs to- You heard, Martinez. The relays on this rock could be down for oh, good. You want right. to send a message? Get out and start walking already. There has to be something we can do. Maybe there is. But I'm not seeing it. So you're going to sit here and do nothing? Like hell. After what happened up there, regs are clear. We're on an alert footing. There could be a hostile biomorph loose on Lethe. So we've got civvies in danger and no way to contact them, right? What about Otago's short-range frequency receiver? Yeah. 
That could work. For now. That doesn't solve our broadcasting problem. We have to you warn the people. You find a way we can do that, then maybe, maybe we can talk about making that happen. Until then, we save everyone we can. We're Marines. That's the job. You want to help? Get familiar with this ship. What's left of it, anyway? You are now on the USS Otago. The Otago crashed after the activation of the Cerberus Protocol. It will be used as an operational base for your Marines between deployment. Okay. Understood. Can't deploy. Go to Med Bay. Okay. Have a nice day, Deputy Administrator Hayes. Hi, Administrator Hayes. I know. I don't want to seem unwelcoming, but I don't really have time to talk right now. A lot of That's Marines are hurting. Enough. Half my orderlies are dead, and the Med Bay's being held together with bailing tape. <laughs> How many casualties are we looking at? Get yourself some duct tape. Crash? At 20. And that'll double before the day's out. There's another 10 unaccounted for in Hangar Bay 3, but the doors are decompression sealed, so we know how that'll go. It'll get worse still if I don't get back to it, so if you'll excuse me. Yes, okay, sorry. Sorry. Lots of work to do. Fair enough. Get those Marines tip top. The med bay is where wounded Marines are sent to cover, recover from their injuries. The wounded Marines recover in the med bay, a wounded Marine can't be redeployed until they are fully recovered. Okay. Select the Marine. Akil Mori, rookie rank one, one day left. Reduces carry duration by one day. Okay, assign the physician. This one's a priority. Understood. Good. Uh, Stay safe, engineer. okay? Ooh, jeez. Hey, new girl. Sorry, but I'm pretty busy right now. Crash buckles have to support bulkheads. That's all I can do to stop this place caving in. All right, I'll let you get on. Thanks. Ah, wow, you learn quick, Hayes. You learn quick. Need a gun, Administrator? Once functional again, the workshop will allow you to unlock weapons for your Marines. Weapons provide specific skills and increase damage done. Lots of different weapons. Cool. Understood. Pretty decent amount. That'll be fun. See you around. Can't wait to unlock some new weapons. Smart gun. Administrator Hayes. Hello. I can't tell you how glad I am to see another Wayland Yutani face aboard. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Dr. Becker. Hello, the Becker. The assigned me to the ship in order to oversee trials of a new cryo sleep routine. How's that going I for you? see that happening now. Oh. No. State of my lab. Months of vital research gone. If I at least had power, I could salvage the backups. But these brutes keep ignoring me. Perhaps you could. Sorry, Doctor, but they're not exactly friendly to me either. It's not about friendly. Who holds higher authority? Wayland Yutani executive or your typical Marine? Where does half the USCM's funding come from? Who provides their weapons? Hmm? You might want to push them. I'm sure they'll back down. Thank uh, you, Doctor. You've given me a lot to think about. They're the only uh, things between course. us and a bunch of Xenomorphs. I think it pays to be nice. Please report to the bridge. Stay safe out there. All right. This is what the short range frequency receiver picked up. It's a distress message from a nearby colony. Thinking what I'm thinking. We have to go there, see for ourselves. All right. What? I feel for those people, but we're blind here. If we're to yeah. save anyone, we need proper comms. We got them. The Otago, Hunzut's dropship, our vehicles, my Marines. Yeah, they all speak the same language. Courtesy of the USCM comm system. That's not what it's I meant. It's a military decision, Hayes, which means it's my decision. Those folks need help. Fine. What do you need from me? Well, normally I'd lead the squad and an officer would run oversight. You know, intel, tactical, from the ARC, our armored recon carrier. I can do that, but I need you to handle the rest from here on the Otago. Oh, I thought I wasn't military. Oh, and I know it. Oh, play ball. Listen, if I'm going to keep my people alive, I need someone with smarts for when mine falls short. If it helps, this ain't exactly what I signed on for, either. <laughs> Welcome to the Colonial Marines. Play ball. They're gonna keep us alive. You wanna live, don't ya? You can access the deployment panel from the command deck. Select the launch mission button. Operations ready in the following areas. There's a representation of the planet Lethe. 
All available missions will be displayed on this panel. Select the Dead Hills Colony to access the mission. Once you've selected a mission, the information panel displays the following information about the location. Number of primary objectives, number of data pads, number of materials, number of Xenotech. Select the build squad. Yep, there we go. That's all that. That's a lot. 14, 19, 302. Understood. Uploading mission data. E. Smith, E. Mc E. McDonald, L. Sharp, and J. Webb. Looking slick. Only one of you smart enough to wear a helmet. For this first mission, manage it options are locked. They do you'll be able to select the Marines who will be sent on the mission and modify their equipment from this screen. Very XCOM style. Like, here's your guys, check them out. Kit them up. Doesn't seem like there's as much customization as XCOM has, but that's okay. I can't select anything, like... Conspirator, coward, bad luck, and clumsy. None of those sound good. We'll find out what they do. Departing for a mission, your squad can pick different supplies. Medical supplies. If they're medical supplies. Tools are necessary for welding doors and other technical interaction options. Pick two of each. Okay, one, two. One, two. And launch. Launch! All right, we're heading out to the mission. We'll land, hopefully it saves, and then we'll pick up again in the next episode, I think. Fun running a little long. All right, Marines, listen up. I know we're hurting, but we got us a go mission. We pulled in a partial signal from the settlement of Dead Hills. We don't know exactly what's happening there, but after what we've seen up Pioneer, we can't take any risks. We'll start by securing the landing control zone. From there, we'll take a look around, see what's going on. Keep your eyes open for survivors. Be ready for a firefight. Even a bad day can get worse. Sir, yes, sir. Rootin' tootin', ready for shootin'. That's a cool little APC. Very nice. Deploy! Marines, welcome to the New World Order. I'll be running tactical from the ARC, while Hayes runs support from the Otago. Administrator right. Hayes, are you settled in up there? I think so. This tech's old, but I can work with it. Don't let Corrigan here. Does it work? Uh, okay, standard recon. Get the perimeter gate open. Let's see what's going down in this burg. On we it. shall, we shall. All right, I'll see you in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, like and subscribe as it helps the channel a lot. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks.